at some point, acceptance becomes enabling. And if you're in any way participating in this joyful celebration of gluttony that goes on now, you have blood on your hands, full stop. Bill Maher, who is someone that falls under the camp, uh, in my opinion, of people like Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar and the people from The View and those woke lunatics over there and has definitely said some absolutely insane things, is now starting to come around once again, as it seems like he does every few months, just starts destroying the woke left. And that's what he's doing in this video real on real time with Bill Maher. Bill Maher goes in on the woke left and, uh, you know, a lot of the, the stuff that they like to push out there, the agendas that they have that are very, very harmful to the general public and not just harmful, but actually lethal to a lot of the general public out there. Let's get into this clip here where Bill Maher absolutely tears apart the woke cult for the things that they push for being harmful. And like I said, lethal to the general public. Let's check this out. And finally, new rule. Everybody should be allowed to let themselves go a couple of times a year like now. The dog days of summer, school's out, rules out, it's hot, vacation time. No one should have to diet on vacation. And the holidays, that's the other, okay, I'll let myself go time of year. And who can blame us? It's the end of the year, it's structured around feast days. No one should feel bad about opening up the pants after Thanksgiving dinner and doing that thing where you undo the top button and try to hold it together with just the belt. <laughs> That's all fine, but not all year round. And that's what's kind of happened to America, letting ourselves go now as an all year round thing, doing the Thanksgiving pants thing every day. <laughs> okay. They actually sell a business suit now with drawstring pants. <laughs> I saw this. I swear, I saw this in the mall and I said to the salesman, this is pathetic. It shows how much we've given up. And he said, no, people love it. <laughs> of course they love it. You can have a mongoose for lunch and then. Yeah, I mean, th this is the problem with the radical acceptance of the woke left, you know, and, and like Bill Maher is criticizing this thing here, but Bill Maher is a huge component as to why this is the case as to why fat acceptance is pushed on people so much it's the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard fat acceptance there should never be accepting fat people it's like it's pushing that there should be pdf file acceptance oh wait they're actually pushing that too you know it's like this is what happens whenever you let them go too far the slippery slope argument is a fallacy until it's not until it's actually real and you know they start off by having certain acceptance about you know, more broad things, more things that, yeah, you could make the argument these things should be accepted. But then they start getting off into PDF files and fat acceptance and things that are actually very, very harmful to the people who they're pushing these agendas onto. And these things have become normalized, you know, normalizing fat people is, is a thing. Like if you make fun of someone for being fat, you're like canceled a lot of the time. So it's, it's really, really bad. It's really, really harmful. And I don't think this is slowing down anytime soon. It's good that people like Bill Maher are calling stuff like this out. Let's see what else he has to say here on Real Time with Bill Maher. Give that big presentation. There's a disturbing trend going on in America these days. Rewriting science to fit ideology or just to fit what you want reality to be. We've gone from fat acceptance to fat celebration. That's new. That is new. To view letting yourself go as a point of pride? We used to at least try and be fit and healthy, and society praised those who succeeded. Now the term body positivity is- If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Used to mean I'm perfect the way I am because I'm me. <laughs> it's Orwellian how often positivity is used to describe what's not healthy. Of course, you can get away with anything bad for you when you're young. But let me ask you this. Have you ever seen a fat 90 year old? <laughs> Scary, isn't it? Healthy at any weight. Yeah, I actually saw a map the other day and it was a life expectancy map. And it was like 
the deep south like louisiana georgia like these states in, in the south with the life expectancy was much lower than the rest of the country and then someone replied to that tweet and said by the way here is the the obesity map like the concentration of obese people and it lined up exactly with the life expectancy map totally unrelated made by two different people two different companies whatever and it lined up absolutely perfectly the life expectancy map was exactly aligned with the obesity map. And this is a product of the woke left. And there's a lot of other things too. Like Bill Maher is focusing on the fat acceptance stuff and the obesity stuff. But there's a lot of other things that the radical acceptance of the woke left have caused massive, massive issues. Like I talked about the PDF file acceptance. Like that's a real thing. People are saying that we should accept those people just because they have different sexual preferences than us doesn't mean they should be ostracized from society. It's like, it's absolutely insane, man. The, the, the things that they are pushing, how far is it going to go? How much farther are they going to push these things? Like at some point we need to put our foots down and say, nope, this is insane and you're going to stop now. And thankfully, Bill Maher is one of the woke people out there who is willing to say that, but we need more people because people like Whoopi Goldberg and The View and those people, they're not stopping. I promise you, they're not slowing down. They're going to just keep pushing it as far as they possibly can. Because it's a full-blown catastrophe. Poor diet is the leading cause of mortality in the United States. New York Times. Okay. Of course, we're talking about heart disease and cancer and diabetes, but also, as COVID has taught us, obesity is horrible for the immune system, which is why those numbers were off the charts during the pandemic. That's a catastrophe. It's literally a national security issue now. Military recruitment is down by the most since the end of the draft because mainly 17 to 24 year olds are too fat to fight. <laughs> At some point, acceptance becomes enabling. And if you're in any way participating in this joyful celebration of gluttony that goes on now, you have blood on your hands, full stop. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. You can make believe you're fighting some great social justice battle for a besieged minority, but what you're really doing is enabling addicts, which I thought we decided was bad. It's not just the drawstring business suits. Companies like Nike, Sports Illustrated, Victoria's Secret, Companies that are specifically about fitness nevertheless promote people who are plainly not into fitness. People like Adele face shame campaigns for losing weight. This is madness. There's a reason the first thing your doctor does is make you step on a scale. Well, <laughs> it used to be. <clears throat> There's a card now that you can give your doctor and it says, please don't weigh me unless it's really medically necessary. It's always necessary. It's like asking your dentist not to look at your teeth. <laughs> yeah, Bill Maher is absolutely spot on here. And, and the fact that the audience loves it, it just, it, it goes to show you just how out of touch with reality leftists really are and especially like the woke cult really are because the majority of people can accept this can say yeah bill maher is right the obesity stuff the fat acceptance stuff is it's it's insane like when you really break it down yeah it might sound great on paper yeah everyone gets accepted all this stuff but it's really really harmful to anyone who is getting enabled to make themselves extremely fat and give themselves heart disease it's really really harmful and it's going to kill them and like bill maher said here on real time with bill maher in front of a live audience and they applauded it the blood is on your hands if you're someone who is pushing this fat acceptance stuff when people die from heart disease because they're fat and they thought they were accepted the blood is on your hands let me know in the comments what you think about bill maher going off on the woke called here for their fat acceptance and just the radical acceptance in general that is coming from the woke left side of things let me know in the comments what you think about this episode over real time with bill maher